Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action the divisional round Ooh, of the I, NFL playoffs. I thought for a second maybe you like had a little please. don't know what it is. Please, brain please, fart please. action. I got one job on this show and it's to say which week it is. Yeah, we're well, supposed to give winners to and locks, but yeah, you know that that too. Uh, yeah, I mean if that is your job, you didn't do it very well last week, one and two, but one and two for me. It was a rough. So week. It wasn't it wasn't a great week for the show? But listen, we've had a good year. So if you're gonna bitch about it, you can fight me. Come to New Jersey. You gotta fight snacks first. They won't get through me. Exactly why I'm not I'm even fu- worried. I'm a pit bull. That's why I'm not even see, worried. You see the skinny frame? You don't see all the anger that's built up in here. I will kill you. He will. He will I will kill, kill you. you. Um, yeah, I don't know. My record overall is still pretty good, so I'm not worried about it. Very good. Uh, listen, I, I think I, and next year I figured out, you know, for the wild card, I'm just going to bet the favorite because there is clearly a gap. Between the teams. Correct. There clearly is. As we is, saw last As week. we saw, yeah. So, not uh, a, well, you know, listen, the Raiders got fucked by the officials yeah, last week. Yeah, that, well, I'm not going to say that, that wasn't like a gap. That was no, just that, you know, you're that right. Was, you're right. You know, That's fair. But the That's rest, fair. there was, there's clearly a gap in the uh, in the level of the team. So, I agree. Yeah. Um, dude, the, the Knicks game is on. He can't stop looking. They're down, they're down 19. He's like, oh, we're on a run. We're not, we're not on a run. We're in football season still. You're right. We don't care about the Knicks. Right. You know what we do care about? Winners. My first pick. Which one's mine? My card's all whacked this week. That's your card. My card's all whacked. All right. I got it. I got it. My first pick. We're heading to Tennessee, the land of bachelorette parties. And uh, we're taking the Bengals at the Titans. Plus three and a half. We're taking the Bengals. Mm. Taking the Bengals. They're hot. Yeah, I know there was a little controversy last week. But overall... I think the Bengals have just been playing better football. And the Titans have been, they've just been squeaking by. I don't really know how the Titans are even here. Honestly, when I saw this, I was like, oh, shit, the Bengals are playing the Titans. That's weird. I'll take the Bengals plus three and a half. I think the Bengals went out right, but we take the three and a half and we're happy. We got Joe Burrow. He got the playoff game under his belt, out of the way. We're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. So I, I just have to. It's fine. Like I, I like the Bengals too. I love Joe Burrow, but you can sit up here. You can stand here. You're gonna make a pick. The Bengals over the Titans wearing Titan colors on your shirt. One, two. Did you ever hear of RJ? Two. Your favorite football player of all time is Derrick Henry, and he's back. Yeah, but he's not like back back. He's gonna have thirty carries. Maybe. All right. I like it. I like it. I love the hook. I also have that? his blueberry muffin. Love the hook. That's a good pick. Blueberries, uh, blues, uh, the color of the Titans. I look like a Titan and a blueberry, so. So you're trying to. Okay, you know what? It, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my pick. And um, so I deliberation. No, deliberated. That's it. Deliberated. Is that the right word? No. Deliberated. I debate. How about I just use the word I know? I debated on this game. For 20 fucking minutes, and I was staring at it. Staring, staring, staring at it. And I just couldn't figure it out until I did. Tom Brady. Great quarterback. Greatest ever. That I've ever seen, at least. I don't think anybody else has seen one better. And I'm like, he's at home. He's the greatest quarterback ever. Oh, but snacks. The the the, the tackle might be missing. Um... Chris Godwin's been out, blah, 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 Antonio Brown, blah, 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 They don't, they just beat the shit out of a shitty team, blah, 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 I don't give a shit. Fuck Matt Stafford, fuck Sean McVay, even though he has great hair. I'm taking the Bucks minus three at home against the Rams. This is a very tricky one. I think the Rams are piping hot. They look very good. They're playing well. They're healthy. Cancer Beckham Jr. looks pretty good. I can't lie. But... This is Tom Brady. This is the playoffs. He's won 10 divisional round games in a row. I don't think this ends on Sunday. I'm taking the Bucs minus three at home to move on to face a familiar foe in the NFC Championship game. That's my tease. 
Bucks minus three. Yeah, listen, when you're when you're in the when you I don't trust Matt Stafford. I'm sorry. This is not Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. This is Tom fucking Brady. Well, that's what I was gonna say while I was swallowing some more uh, muffin. Uh, yeah, in the playoffs, you can't really go wrong betting on Tom Brady. I mean, we looked at what happened last week. I bet against Tom Brady. Did it work? And it was wrong. Yeah. Same. So betting on Tom Brady is never a bad thing, especially in the playoffs. When in doubt, if you think it's a tight game, because I do think overall, the roster-wise, the Rams are better, but you can't do it. The coin flip, there is none. One side's Tom Brady. The other side's Tom Brady. So flip that coin, you get Tom Brady in the playoffs. Bucks minus three. I have no idea what I just said right well, there. That makes sense. But you know what will make sense? My second pick... We are going with the Bills at the Chiefs over 53 and a half. We're taking the over here. Uh, ooh. Uh, so here's the deal. You got Buffalo Bills, high-powered offense. Kansas City Chiefs, high-powered offense. Mix those things together, and that is a formula for the over. Mm. I mean, it's that simple. You got cannon arm, Josh Allen, fucking... Cannon, bazooka arm, Patrick Mahomes, they both got f***ing the biggest arms in the league. And they're playing each other. So I'm expecting a lot of points. Plus, I would like to see the Bills roll into this week with that momentum from last week where they yeah. were just f***ing chucking it and, yeah. and, and scoring. They scored a touchdown every drive, I think. Every single drive. Yeah, so. They showed no mercy. If they can do half of that this week, if they can give me 50% of that and I can still get 100% of the Chiefs. The over's right there. That's the over. Yeah. That's the over. You know, like what else? you know what else over. is over? This pick. Mm, love that. Now, if the Bills can do that to a Bill Belichick-led defense, they can do it to anybody. Yeah, I'm not really like an Andy who, Andy Reid. Steve Spagnuolo. Steve Spagnuolo. Hey, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Don't get me started. Like, know. You know what I'm talking about. Don't get me yeah, started. We know. We're not going to go there, though. We're not going to do that right I'm, now. I'm in the playoffs. No. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so you took, you took the Cincinnati Bengals over the Titans plus th- three and a half, correct? I did. Okay, I'm going to pick this game too, but we're going to use the total, and I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under 47 in this game for a couple of reasons. Um, the Bengals are just coming off a game that would have went under against the, the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, Raiders, who got robbed, by the way, by the NFL. It's bullshit. Tennessee's got Derrick Henry back. Their main key in their offense, their main scheme, everything they do is they run the football. They are going to try and keep Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase off that field. They're going to run that football. The Bengals' offensive line is... What's the score? You asked it's a 12-point game. I don't want to do that. Right, sorry, sorry. No, it doesn't matter. This is more important. This is more important. The Bengals' offensive line is still not good. The Titans' defensive line is very good. However, I think it's going to be a slow-paced football game. There's not going to be a lot of explosive plays. There's going to be a lot of running the football, especially on the Titans' side of things. And I think this game comfortably goes under. I truly do. I see. I actually like the Bengals a lot, too. I see I see 23, seven, or 2017 Titans. You can even flip-flop those scores. I think it's going to be low-scoring defensive battle. And Cincinnati's defense is, like, sneaky decent. I don't know, like, they got a couple studs. You got yeah, Jesse they, Bates. They're, they're, they're a sneaky couple. decent. So yeah. forty-seven seems like a lot in a cold weather game. I'm going. Uh, I'm going under forty-seven. Titans Bengals. It's simple. I like it. I like it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, if the Titans are going to run through Derrick Henry, I think the logic's there. It's just well, if they're going to run the ball a lot, that could be in your favor. So. Then again, I took under forty-four because I thought the logic just made too much sense. And <clears throat> last week, and I think they scored seventy points. The Bills scored eighty. Whatever. I mean. Yeah, sometimes logic doesn't always get you the results you want. I also, motherfucker, I was watching Bagels and Locks. By the way, like one of your better shows last week. I was, I was watching it, and I'm and it, watching it during actually the Bills, the Bills Patriots game, and I'm and, and I remember saying to myself, I'm like I hate this pick so much that I almost might change it. I hate it so much, or I, I I like it so much that I hate it, something like that. And sure enough, it goes way over. So if only we could see into the future. But yeah. you know, you know who can That's see into the future. So these guys in the studio over there in the other studio will we'll go there for the underdog play of the day uh, brought to you by underdog fantasy all right thanks guys cool we're here for the underdog uh play of the day brought to you by underdog fantasy you can uh download the app underdog fantasy or go to the website underdogfantasy.com uh i don't know if there's any promos yeah, f- my pick is uh I'm taking cj uzama 
30 and a half receiving yards. We're taking the over. Look, he's hit it three weeks in a row. He's a stud. Tight end. He can't fade the tight end in the playoffs. They, you know, security blanket, safety blanket, it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. Uh, CJ Uzama, 30 and a half receiving yards over. Yeah, I'm just impressed you knew how to say that name. Short pick, yeah. I'm going uh, Stefan Diggs over 79 and a half yards. What did you say? He's a good ball player. Yeah. He's going to, there's going to be a lot of points. Be a lot of yards, a lot of throwing. Stefan Diggs over 79 and a half. Oh, and because last year when the Chiefs eliminated the Bills, he stood on the field watching them celebrate. He's going to come out with a vengeance. Actually, I just thought about that. It's a good, good tidbit. I just thought about that, yeah. It's a good tidbit. All right. You bet these, you win three extra money. So you bet twenty dollars, you'll win sixty. Uh, that was the quickest math I've ever done in my life. Back to you guys. All right, all right, good picks. Hopefully, honestly, I don't know how those have been doing this year. I'm kind of glad we're not keeping a record of them because I got a feeling they haven't been great. I think we take too many overs. Yeah, well, I don't think we've ever taken an under. So I think I did once and think the overhit. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's. Oh, did you hear that sound? No, it was over there though. Whatever. I know. I know. Oh, I'll do it over here. Oh, you hear that sound? There it is, there it is again. <sighs> what sound? There's not. Look at you. See, there's like no blueberries inside this muffin. Yeah, they kind of chinsed you on that. What is this? Oh, there it is again. Got it. It's right over here. It's yeah. like in the corner now. I mean, this, really? I told though, you, like... it's got to be in the corner. Yeah, it's pathetic. From now on, I want you to put an equal amount of blueberries in each muffin. An equal amount of blueberries in each muffin. You know how long that's going to take? I don't care how long it takes. Put an equal amount in each muffin. That's a corn muffin with yeah. blueberries on top. Want a loogie in it? No, I'm going to eat it still. <laughs> want me to put my balls in it? Because I got I got blue ones after last night. Oh! Um, no, thank you. Come on, it was good, though. Uh, not really. It was kind of decent. And I don't. That I don't sound have, thirty have, seconds ago that you heard. I don't have any. Means it's any time. Sex. No sex for me. For the big box. Nice oh, shot. Strike. shot. Strike, baby. You know what that means? Means we're gonna these go. These two games with your wife. Yeah, you know what that was. That was the one. Here's the two, three. You know what that means in bowling? Turkey. Turkey. All right. My big lock, we're heading to the cold and cheesy Wisconsin, Green Bay, Wisconsin. We're going to go with the 49ers at the Packers minus five and a half. We're taking Aaron Rodgers. It's simple. Here's the deal. It's Aaron Rodgers. It's simple. And it's the revenge <laughs> game. It's the revenge game. It's always a revenge game with Aaron and the, and the Niners. Favorite team passed over him for Alex Smith. He was upset at that table. I know that fucking picture. It's in my fucking head. I see it every day. He looks like such a creep, but yeah. But he was an angry creep. He's an angry creep. Uh, all I wrote in my notes was Rodgers' revenge game. That's all you need to know. It's a hey. five and a half. Also, also, he wants to get back at them. Remember the last NFC Championship game he played against them? Yeah, I had Rodgers. I used the same analysis. Yeah. 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 So yeah. when it doesn't work, you go back to it. I like this a lot. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I like it a lot, too. Uh, yeah, here's the deal. Minus five and a half. I think that the Packers are 100% a touchdown better than the Niners. Yes, I agree. One touchdown better, maybe. So if they win by a touchdown, we win. That's all that matters. Minus five and a half. We're taking Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. You could parlay these. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Much better throw this week. I I like the crinkle I, effect last I week. I like that. I like that pick a lot. Um, you know, the San Fran's the public's darling. They all love San Fran. That line's already dropped like a point. So you got it. It's 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 a brilliant pick. Great pick. That's the big lock, baby. <sighs> what was your first pick? Bengals. That's three and a half. What was your second one? The other game. Rocket on Josh Allen, right? Yeah, the over. Chiefs. Big hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big hands. Speaking of revenge. Mm. Yeah. I know where you're going. I am stunned I'm doing this because normally I wouldn't. But I think it's their year. I do. I'm taking the Bills plus one and a half in Arrowhead Stadium. What I saw from the Bills last week was 20 times more impressive than what I saw from the Chiefs. The Bills absolutely laid the hammer on the greatest defense of mine in football history. They laid the hammer on them. It was not even a competition. Seven drive, or what was it? Seven drives, seven, whatever it was. They scored every single time they had the ball, and they did it with ease. 
The Chiefs didn't score until the middle of the second quarter against a team that's won eight f***ing games in a regular season. Nine games, whatever it was. The Bills, to me, are a better football team. They have the number one defense. Josh Allen's playing out of his mind right now. They're running the football. Well, Josh Allen's playing way better than Pat Mahomes is. Without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. I, me getting points, I don't care if it's on the road. I don't give a s***. Okay, the playoffs, to me, on the road, home, it, it, it really doesn't matter. The Bills are the better football team right now, and I'm catching a point and a half. I am taking Buffalo plus one and a half. After what happened to them last year, f*** that. It's not going to happen again. They are going to win this football game, and I think they win maybe by 10. That's how much. That's how confident I am in the Buffalo Bills. Nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. Enter Chris Berman's face right there, right? Nobody circles the wagons better than them. Buffalo plus one and a half in our head. F*** Kansas City. F*** it. Mahomes, what does he sound like? Hermit the Cray, well, what is it? Hermit the Frog. Kermit, yeah. Kermit, Kermit. What did I say? Hermit? Yeah. Kermit. Same f him. He, Stupid hair. He also loves ketchup, and ketchup sucks. Ketchup sucks. He eats ketchup about a I hate ketchup. And his brother apparently is going to be at the game doing his, doing his TikTok dances on the thing. F him. F my homes. F everybody. Bills, plus one and a half. Lock it in. Parlay them all. Easy wins. I mean, they couldn't see that, but that was very weak, that, uh, like the way it fluttered. Well, no, it was a, it, you know what it was? It was a sinker. It was a weak it was flutter. A sinker. It was yeah, a sinker. it was like a dying butterfly. But anyway. Bing uh, bong. Yeah, those are the picks this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, comment your big locks down below. Uh, bagels and locks. Bagels and locks.